Hey boys, before this video, let's try to make this my most liked video. Cheap Breaker is so hyped. I love this thing. It's an amazing creation. Shout out to Jay Hall. He's actually right here right now. Shout out to Jay Hall, dude. Amazing. It's legit the most. He has wings. What is going on? But it's the most amazing thing ever. So let's try to get this my most liked video. Also, the giveaway is still on. Link in description. All you have to do is retweet and follow me. Retweet the tweet in the description. And it's for Velt rank for the highest rank and two of the second highest rank. So follow me on Twitter. Retweet that tweet. You'll get entered. And let's try to make this my most liked video, guys. It takes one second to like it. I'd really appreciate that. Thank you, guys. Hey, boys. I know you saw the title and you're like, oh, another showcase. But I honestly just want to give my first impressions, no biased opinions, and tell you guys straight up what Cheap Breaker is all about. I haven't watched any other videos, so I don't know how they structured their videos. But I'm just going to show you guys some key points cool things Cheap Breaker can do and uh, just get you guys hyped for the release. So right off the bat, my first impressions of this home screen, it's super clean. It just looks like Minecraft. Obviously you can go to single player, that's whatever. And then multiplayer, as you guys have saw, um, they have their top servers up here. I don't, they took off mine HQ. That's actually weird. They used to be mine HQ up here, but the top servers that Cheap Breaker J Hall obviously owns, Arcane and Ultra. And then you can switch accounts right on this, which is absolutely amazing. Shout out to Cheap Breaker. This is the coolest thing ever. Like it legit switch. Like I'm on this account now. Boom. That simple. And then they made the options and language a little bit more accessible up here instead of having it down here. It just looks cleaner. These two buttons and these two buttons. I don't know. I thought I liked what they did there. All right, let's hop into Arcane 2 Man and give this a shot. In-game first impressions right away. It does feel a bit smoother. But in all honesty, I don't know if it really is that insane FPS boost. It feels a lot smoother, which is great. And I, there definitely is a little bit of an FPS boost, but it's not anything crazy. Um, I don't know. I used to get like roughly 100, 110, and um, I'm in a super populated area, so that's probably why. But I usually do get like 250, like normally with Cheap Breaker in a normal area. So in a way, it technically has gone up a lot, but uh, I don't know. It's just hard to notice. Once you're above like 150 range, you don't really notice like those small, those small changes. Even if it is 100 FPS, it doesn't make that much of a difference. To access the Cheap Breaker menu, all you do is hit right shift, and then you come up with this cool GUI, which is really interesting. One thing that I want to point out straight away is if you click this little thing right here, you can have different profiles. So you can have one profile that all your stuff is set up for one one server all your stuff is set up for another server however you want to play it and you can go in here and rename them obviously and um, it's actually insanely cool you can delete them it's just really convenient if you have different servers with different play styles and different things you need to put in different locations to select the mods it's super simple you just hit add to hud and you can legit move anywhere it's unreal this blew me out of the water i was so surprised usually you have to go and chat and type in some weird commands to make the things move around but you can put it anywhere. You can just stick it right in the middle or anything. And obviously you don't really want it there. But once it's there, you can just move it anywhere. I'm going to quickly set all these mods up, enable them all, and show you guys what it looks like. So I have all the mods roughly set up. I would usually put on the left, I would usually put them a little bit higher. But I just wanted to show it because uh, the face cam is blocking it. But in all honesty, it just looks super clean. And when you come in here, you can just keep moving everything around. And it comes up with these little grids to like move everything exactly where you want it. So it's super nice. Also, you can move this up and down. You can move anything anywhere. It's legit unreal. You can move the scoreboard. Like you can, you can put the scoreboard just right in the middle if you really want to. Like obviously, you know. But you can move anywhere down here. Just get it out of your way, so you don't really have to look at it. Just have a cleaner screen. Uh, and if you want to move everything at once, you can click and drag, and move anything anywhere. Like the whole thing anywhere. Like you could click everything and move it all at the same time if you don't want to do one by one, which I thought was a great feature. So jumping right into some customization options, what you can do is you can hit this little gear and you can go to cheat breaker settings and you can customize just about anything. So these are all like your settings to enhance your game, enhance your FPS, tons of different stuff. I haven't really messed around with this, but you can turn full bright on and off just from in here, which is unreal. I think you probably need to restart your game, but um, also you can turn the FPS boost on and off. Like I said, it does feel smoother, and there is definitely an FPS a little bit increase, but it's nothing too crazy. I haven't messed around with streamer mode. I really want to get look into that. But uh, one thing I did mess around with was crosshair settings. Um, so you can change the thickness, size, gap, and I kind of created my own crosshair. One thing I did realize, though, is that when you switch profiles, your, uh, your crosshair doesn't change. Um, so it stays the same. I mean, that's not really that big of a deal, I guess. 
but um, it is kind of weird. So that's one thing to point out a little glitch that I saw. Also, one thing that is super cool, you can change your entire color options of all cheap breaker with one click of a button. So say you want all blue, boom, apply to all text, everything's blue. All Everything on the left's blue, sprinting toggle, everything's blue. So that makes it look a lot cooler, a lot cleaner, and I really, I really like that feature. Another thing that was really cool is when you take a screenshot, listen for the sound, it's like a little picture sound, and you can hit upload straight from here, and you can hit open straight from here, which is super nice. They made it look a lot more clean, and I was just messing around, and I saw that, and I thought it looked really cool. And also something I don't really want to dive too far into, but you can customize mods like in depth on their own scale so you can scale anything you want as big as you want for every different mod which is pretty cool and you can like you can move anywhere look how big this is getting you can turn it vertical show wheel typing anything like you can change you can change up anything you want there's so many different settings you just have to play around with it i'm not really going to go too much in depth it's just it's too much but uh they really did all out with the settings and it makes this thing a lot better also down here there's some little quick features you can use um, you can read through those but it's just basically quicker things to help you move around the app and make it make your life a lot easier so that's one thing that i definitely like they're adding little shortcuts and stuff just to make this thing run as smoothly as possible and it's showing it's amazing that's probably going to wrap up the video i wanted to make it kind of short and concise and just show you my first impressions and honest opinions of cheat breaker and also just showing you guys how it works and how it runs and how it performs i'm probably going to make a second episode that's mostly tips and tricks because i already know a few little things that are cool but i'm saying saving it for that episode and i'll hopefully find out more as i learn more about cheat breaker but uh, everyone backing it eddie Jay Halt, everyone behind this, thank you for creating it. It's going to make Minecraft a lot better. It's going to make HCF a lot better, eliminate cheaters, and just make the game a lot smoother. So thank you for coming out with this amazing thing. I cannot wait till it's released to you guys so you can experience it. Uh, drop a like down below for Cheat Breaker. It's honestly an amazing thing. I'm super glad it's something that they did. Thank you for watching. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button down below. I'd appreciate that. And I upload every day at 12 p.m. EST. So come and tune in. I really appreciate that also. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one.